Welcome back, everyone, to my playthrough of Hogwarts Legacy. Um, we are back here in the, uh, what is this place called again? Uh, oh yeah, the Room of Requirement. So, I can't remember if I told you guys this or not. I've been doing a little decorating. I've moved a few things around. Um, man, I don't remember if I gone through and shown you this before. I have to apologize. Um, it's been a couple weeks since I played, and when you're watching this video, it may not be that amount of length of time, but yeah, it's been a little bit. I've had some stuff going on, I've had to do this and that, a bunch of crap that I'm sure you're not overly interested in. But in any case, um, yeah, so I'm, I'm a little rusty right now, and I remember we're here. I don't remember at all what we're doing, but I'm sorry about that. I just, you know, life just kind of gets in the way. But hopefully I should be able to devote some better time to this and regularly upload, at least throughout the week, um, these episodes. So let's check out our quests and see what the hell it is we're doing. Find the location of the second Keeper Trail. We got some stuff down here. This is crap. The man behind the moons. Yeah, that's going to be ongoing. Mm, yes, there is this one. Uh, Riptorium. These are both level 16. Um, either meeting Natty or Sebastian. Now, Sebastian's here in the school, whereas I have to go to Lower Hogsfield to meet her. Let's meet up with Sebastian, and then we'll get, uh, well, as the thing says, back on the path. So, yeah, I do remember we started ri uh, riding the giant chicken, which was fun. Now, let's just go on foot. The way I run. So awkward and weird. But I just, I just did a little decorating. No, nothing much. Okay. Meet Sebastian outside the Slytherin common room. All right, let's see what we see. Um, oh, I heard a dingy thingy. I have not been. Know if I'll be able to find that. It sounds really close, though, doesn't it? I have not been through here. It has been a minute. I think this is the one where I was like, man. I looked all over for it, and I just could never find the stupid thing. And then I think if I go down here. The sound gets lesser. Yeah, it's... Uh, yeah, see, it's getting farther and farther away. I just... I don't know where else I could find it up here, though. I mean, what am I missing? Is it... Flying around? Not this guy. It's somewhere right around here. Surely it's not in the room of requirement, right? And now you can't even hear it at all. So is there... I don't know. Maybe it's up above or something? It's gonna drive me crazy. Let me just go see. Um, ah! Oh man, I almost ran into her with all those books. Booyah! <laughs> oh man, I thought I was gonna get her to drop them. Uh, what I was gonna Rebellion. say is... I do really appreciate you guys joining me. Thanks so much, as always. Alright, we're hearing the dinging again. It's gotta be somewhere up here, yeah? Okay, farther away. We've gone in here. No, no, we're getting farther and farther. Well, I don't know. I'm, I'm sure I've done this whole ring a Ring of Ringamaru? Uh, yeah, something like that. I'm sure I've done it before, so... Out of the way. Alright, let's go this way, right? Lead the way. 
and we'll carry on this way. Got on this new outfit that I'm wearing. I think it looks Revenue. fairly classy. Oh, I can't warp in here. Man, the way that he runs is so awkward and weird. It's like the way that Ezra Miller's Flash runs. You know? Like he's got... I don't know. A giant wedgie or something. Like, it looks really stupid. Like, look at this. Look at that. Uh, this way. Out of the way, door. What the hell was that? Ooh, I love all the pumpkins. It's like Halloween. I love how the seasons change. Revelio. I was wondering if maybe I'd come across some students. <coughs> Excuse me. Some students who maybe need help, you know, like some side quests. But I'm not seeing anyone. Really, it's this one? Okay. Thank you. Thank goodness for, uh, this tracking spell. Out of the way, Daw. Yeah. Rebellion. There's a chest. Yeah. Oh, we're going- Oh, yeah, we're going to the Slytherin common room, of course. I was like, why does this look so familiar? Close your eye so that I can kill you. Then he's supposed to. There we go. Die. <laughs> Five hundred big fat juicy ones. Not bad. Here we are. So he's right outside here. I'm pretty sure I invest well. Have here. How did in the world did I miss that? That's like at literally the very beginning of the game. Here's the stairs. Out of the way, loser. Move it, loser. Alright, let's do this. There's a chest in there. Let me go in here and see what that chest is. Oh, it's this one. How many more do I have? Ministry thinking, putting black in charge of a bunch of children. He hates children. This Dedalian Keys challenge is coming along nicely. I've only got two more, man. We're almost there. I wish there was something I could do to stand up to the headmaster. Likely best to keep my head down till I finish up here. Rebellion. Might be best to keep my head down until I finish up here. Let me poke my head inside the common room. I haven't been in here in forever. Let me just see if there's anyone in here with new dialogue. I mean, this is like, you know, my home. This place is pretty cool. Oh, I'm walking. Why am I walking? Not running anymore. Is there anyone in here that... Rebellion. Has anything interesting to say? I'm not seeing anything over anyone's head. There was a stairway... I think it was this right here that would block me from going. Yeah, look at that. Seems that's off limits to me. Seems it's off limits to me. Maybe this quest with Sebastian might open something up. Uh, no, not that way. Have All right, let's go. I hear it from Oops, I think I just broke something. That's okay. We know magic, so it doesn't matter. Reparo. Uh, this way. Alright, let's get this party started. Oh, You're here. hey. Brilliant. I just fell asleep on the floor, sorry. Had a few too many butter beers. I received your owl. What happened with Ominous? I told him none of us will be able to avoid dark magic forever. So the more we know about Salazar Slytherin and the dark arts, the better prepared we'll be. Unfortunately, only a Gaunt knows the location of the Scriptorium's entrance, and Ominous won't tell me. Hmm. Perhaps I should have a chat with Ominous. You? I suppose it's worth a try. But don't get your hopes up. Ominous is annoyingly stubborn. 
Nothing new. I know where he is. I'll lead you to him and then leave you to it. Come on. Oh, I like the way you He's think. This way. My good man, Sebastian. Let's learn this dark magic. Uh, uh, you know, just for research. Keep you know, an eye so. out. Never know who's watching. Although yes. that hasn't stopped us before. Uh, Strictly right. speaking, it has. We were caught. Damned poltergeist. True. Such a nuisance. Yes. But we'll be better equipped once we learn this magic. Good old Sebastian here. I consider you uh, quite an ally, my friend. When I rule the world, you will have a place of honor. Which way are we going? This way? Okay. There he is. Good luck. I'll try not to kill him. Thanks, Sebastian. The blind guy, right? Hello, my good man. What are you doing here? I just wanted to talk. Mr. Uh, Ominous, correct? Hello, Ominous. Do you have a moment? What is it? What have you and Sebastian been up to now? I owe you an <laughs> apology, Ominous. I wasn't honest with you before about the Undercroft. Sebastian did show it to me. He wanted me to have a safe place to practice some spells, to try and catch up to the other fifth years. He didn't think you'd mind. <sighs> I suppose that makes sense. It's just Sebastian's been pestering me lately about something and I'm frustrated with him. Don't tell me he's still going on about, what was it, a scriptorium? He told you about that? He did. We were talking about our house founder and he mentioned it. Wouldn't say much more, though. Yes, well, he seems to think it contains the answer to saving Anne. I think it's likely full of dark magic that is best left untouched. Wait, you've never been inside? Of course not. I only know about it because of my favorite aunt, Noctua. She thought like I do. Didn't agree with the family on the use of dark magic. In fact, yeah. she'd hoped to convince my family that there was more to Salazar Slytherin than worshipping pureblood status. She'd heard of this scriptorium and thought its contents might shed some light on him. She even found the secret entrance in this very corridor. She wrote regularly to my father about her efforts to gain access, and then she simply vanished. No one else ever tried to enter. Ah, interesting. So the secret entrance is in this area. Okay. Oh, ominous, my friend. Uh, I'm, I'm afraid you're not quite cut out to begin Slytherin, I'm afraid. But, um, let's see. Aren't you curious about what's in... Yes, um, ominous. I mean, come now. Aren't you just a little bit curious about what's actually inside since you've never been in there yourself? I'm sorry about your aunt. Not really. Don't you want to find out what happened to her? Aunt Noctua went down this path with good intentions and lost her life. I don't want the same to happen again. You don't know that history will repeat itself. Besides, you said your aunt thought like you. This could honor her memory. Get you answers about Slytherin and Sebastian answers for Anne. Your aunt pursued this alone. We could do it together. Hmm. Mm. I see what you've done here. And I confess, you've convinced me. Excellent. I didn't think it possible. Very well. I shall tell you what I know. Fetch Sebastian, I'll wait. Excellent. I hope Excellent. I... We don't regret this. Sebastian! Over here! These uh, braziers grant access to the scriptorium. Now you'll share? You wouldn't tell me when I practically begged. It wasn't you who told me what I needed to hear. Opening the entrance has something to do with threes. Well, three heads are better than one. It's two heads are better than one. And by that logic, three is better than two. Simple mathematics, Ominous. Yeah, Ominous. Although I am smarter than both of you put together, so it's really more like five or six heads. But, uh, you know, you know, details, details. I don't know if I've ever been down here before. Um, so these braziers have something to do with opening the thingamajiggy. Like, I don't remember these ghosts dancing over here. Revelio. Remember, three braziers are involved. Yeah, yeah, I'm just kind of looking around. Someone was actually listening. I do that. Occasionally. I can't open this right now. Is it? Is like the paths? Oh, okay. Maybe I can. Hello, Hamora. 
I don't think I've been over here before. Let me check this stuff out real quick. Otherwise, I'll forget and never come back. Ta-da! What we got in here? Oh, we got this. Oh, God! Okay, I'm about to <laughs> fail the quest. Uh, we got that thing, which I still have no idea what to do with that. Well, I can't go much farther. I probably won't be able to go through that door. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, so, um, these braziers have something to do with opening this, and it has something to do with three. Interact? Nothing. Well, there's three of us. There's three braziers. So, I guess we just light them, yeah? The is this the right one? No, yeah, that's it. Good for you. One, two, three. Something's happening. I hope we're ready for this. Oh, give me a challenge! Come on, that was too easy. Why does it still say interact? Dark, ominous corridors. Okay. My favorite. Like seriously, what no happens? comment. Come on, that was a good one. I get it. I thought it was funny, although I didn't laugh. Okay, so it looks like it's like here. a locked door. We may want to look around. Noctua Gaunt's notes, one of five. I must prove my point. We do not need to use the dark arts, as my family instructs. When I reach the scriptorium, I will find evidence that there's more to Salazar Slytherin than we realize. I have written to my brother. He now knows I have accessed the corridor's entrance and that there's no straight path to reach the scriptorium. It's a maze with many challenges to solve. I hope that my brother will follow my lead and we can study our ancestors' legacy together. Noctua Gaunt. Excellent. A journal entry. Signed by Noctua Gaunt. Gaunt? Ominous. Your family was here. I know. She was my aunt. You knew? And didn't tell me? Ominous. The journal mentions many challenges ahead. That's why I said this could be dangerous. Aunt Noctua kept my father informed until she vanished. Ominous, stop acting like a cuck. I mean, come on. Jeez, you're in Slytherin. There Have may some be something dignity. to this pile of rubble. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm just trying to give a pep talk to our uh, mutual Repair. friend. The rubble formed a relief of a person facing a snake. That must be the voice I hear. Oh. Are you a... What is it called? Parcel? Parcel tongue? Parcel tongue? I forget how to pronounce it. Can you speak to snakes? And if you hear something... Oh, is this going where I think it is? Okay, let's explore. This is awesome. The voice is ancient. Sinister. Is it now? Well, let's hear what it has to say. You hear a voice. It started when you repaired that relief. I hear a whisper saying, speak to me. I'm a parcel mouth. I can hear and speak to snakes. Nearly all known parcel mouths are descended from Salazar Slytherin. I wish all Slytherins could talk to snakes. You might not want the ability to speak past the tongue. It's often associated with dark wizards. I haven't spoken it in ages, but I'd wager if I speak it now, the door will open. I'm hoping you're having second thoughts. Uh, <laughs> no. A uh, second and third thought? No, no, not at all. Go for it, I'm ready. I see no reason we should stop now. <laughs> it's ironic. When I left home, I vowed to leave the dark arts behind, and yet here I am. Stand back. I wish I could speak. I can't partly. believe I'm doing this. It worked! Ominous, you possess a rare ability indeed. Between the two of you, I'm starting to feel left out. Between the two of us? Shut up, I... Sebastian. Never mind. All right. Lead the way. Just forget what he said. There's no clear way forward. Rebellion. Like a maze. Salazar Slytherin most likely wanted this to be difficult to solve. That thought. Lumos. The 
door we came from, it closed. And there's more than one gate ahead. Then look closely at each gate for clues. Use Slytherin lock. Ooh, it's a snake. Let me look around. Um... Revelio. Takes Lumos. away my light. Let's go this way and just look around a little. There are several gates in here. So these locks must open it. Let's do this one first, since this is probably just a side room. The dial requires focus. Oh my god. Uh, Noctua said the same. It may take practice to solve it. Um... Now... Oh my so god! Good. Salazar Slytherin didn't make this easy. Okay, so... <laughs> it's timed. And if I don't solve the puzzle soon enough, the damn snake is going to hop out and bite me. <laughs> okay. Clever, Mr. Salazar. Uh... What do I do? I have no idea. Oh my gosh. Well, the dire, isn't it? You sound uh, surprised. We're in a maze designed by Salazar Slytherin. Something. I thought by maybe matching up these symbols. But. Is my actual health going down? Oh, oh, here we go. Here's a clue. So we have. A circle with like um, a backwards C on the one side and then the snake underneath. So that's the clue I think I need. All right, let's do it. There it is. Okay. Once you know the clue, matching easy. the symbols did open it. Look at that. I was the, about to do that myself, but you got to it first. Right. <laughs> nice work. Lumos. Six chicken nuggets. Oh gosh. What the heck? Popped off. Hello. Ooh, this is three of five. I don't want to read that one yet. Ominous. Your aunt wanted to change your family's traditions. She did. Oops. She was my favorite person in the world for it. Um. Rebellion. I don't want to miss any of these notes. It's, there's stuff over here that's behind there. Gotta try to get this stuff. Very loud. I bet I missed one of those things in this room. Now it's getting weaker. Um, Let's see what's over here. I mean, the gates are everywhere. Oh, this is just going to open that, I think. Okay, let's go back this way then. Hard to see. Lumos. Lumos. All right, let's do this one. Um, what's the clue though? And there is no gate here. Confringo. I bet this opens up a door on the other side somewhere, and I need to look at that door first. <gasps> Before I can, um... Lumos. You know, before I can open it up. Are there more braziers I can light like this one? Over here. Revelio. Lumos. Yeah, that's on the other side there. So I bet it opens up this door here. What do you want to bet? Let's go through here first if we can. Here we go. Confringo! Rebellion. Here's another note. Is it note? I didn't see what note it was. Crap. This journal entry... Two or five. It mentions getting lost and being unwelcome. Poor Aunt Noctua. Hold that thought. Um... Do -do 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 -do. Okay, so we have... Two of five and three. So let's go to two. You. Salazar Slytherin buried this scriptorium deep within Hogwarts. 
I'm afraid I shall lose my way around these dark corridors. I am a descendant, and yet I feel unwelcome. Lighting these braziers in the corridor is helping. I shan't lose heart. Challenge by challenge, I will make my way through. Knock do a gonk. I failed the dial, and it struck my face as if it were a real serpent. But I must find a way forward for my family's sake. We should not require children to conform to old traditions. This scriptorium must have proof that there's more to our legacy than meets the eye. Transform. Um. Real quick. Oh my god, I've only got two Wigan Wield potions. Holy crap, I never restock them. Ooh, that's not good. I never restock the Wigan Wield potion. Oh, I can't abandon the quest now, it'll it'll fail. Crap, that's not good. Ugh, poor planning. Okay, so there's a thingamajiggy here. Rebellion. Lumos. Not seeing any clues. I mean, it's this one here. Let's see. All right. Um. Kind of crossed out. The bottom one looks like a, I don't know, a forklift, and the top one looks like. Maybe a cat or something like that, but that's been crossed out. I bet it has to do with the one that's over here. So we're gonna try this. Uh, All right, let's do it. Not the welcome sword, was it? Uh, I think that's it. Wait! Oh crap! The seems to be getting more difficult, but we've made it this far. Don't give up. Yeah, I'm hurting. God, this is bad. Oh my god, do I seriously have to take a potion before I heal? Oh my god. Oh, there we go. Where is it? There it is. Is that not it? No, that's not it! I imagine the speeds vary and symbols differ for every guy. Crap! Oh my gosh, <laughs> this is so bad. I'm gonna fail this miserably. So it wasn't that one. I know I matched them up correctly. Okay, so it's a different one. Um, Lumos. This one here must represent... Yeah, it's a cat and a forklift. It must represent this one in here then. Alright. Here we go. Another gate. Seems Slytherin like to play games. Uh, must run in the family. No. There. No, this one. Ah. Oh. Symbols. And there are symbols on the dial. I just had it at the end. Crap. All right, let's try it one more time. I was just a, a bit too slow. Okay, where is it? The cat. No, no, back and forklift. Let's look at the oh. symbols again. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Uh, there it is. Oh. That sounded promising. Yeah. Another dial solved. Impressive. Nice Thanks. work. Lumos. How about you guys actually pitch in? Yeah, that'd be great. Maybe you could solve one of these? Okay, four or five. <coughs> Excuse me. Extraordinary. This journey is painful but rewarding. I shall soon find the scriptorium and discover untold secrets regarding our house founder. <coughs> Salazar Slytherin intended more than what we become. I know it. Yeah, I don't Not know about sure that. reference is painful and arduous challenges, but also rewards. Painful. That's the part I'm wary of. All I heard was rewards. Good for you. Lumos. And like I'm about We've to die, to solve the head. and I have such Search little potions. Each corridor. It may not be obvious which leads where. Yeah, yeah, I already know what to do. 
Um, so we have a fish thing, and then like a, a triangle thing. Man, like, I'm dying. So I have to go back to this one then now, yeah? Got a fish and then a triangle thing. Oh, man. Like, if I don't get this, I think I'm gonna die. <laughs> this is so bad. Okay, here we go. Fish. Where's the stupid fish? Oh my god, there it is. Oh! As the dial moves faster than before. No! Perhaps check you're matching the correct symbols. <laughs> I died! I failed! Try again. The door we came from, it closed. Oh. And there's more than one gate ahead. Then look Luna. closely at each gate for clues. Where are we at with this? Oh, I've got to go through all of them again? God. Well, my health... Oh, where's all my potions? So I start over with zero potions? Do I have the letters? I do. But I have to go through the stupid doors again. When the door closed, it lit up. Well, there's no way around it. Okay, circle and snake. Let's do it. The dial requires focus. Art Noctua said the same. It may take practice to solve it. Matching the symbols did open it. I was about to do that myself. But you got to it first. Um. <laughs> Nice work. So this one is this one. Cat and forklift. Gotta do this one. Confringo. Another game. Seems Slytherin like to play games. Must run in the family. Look in a mirror, Sebastian. Oh! That one was close. Like, that one was really close. Oh that my god. That sounded promising. Another dial solved. Impressive. Nice work. Okay. Now this one is um fish and triangle. Alright. Gonna try it on you know our luck again. Fish and triangle. Lumos. Good for you. Another another welcoming sort, was he? Got it. Ooh, okay, that was Excellent close. Work. We're another step closer to the script. Hopefully, that's the last of Lumos. these, because I don't have any potions this time. Oh, confound it! I spotted something ahead. Looks troubling. This whole place is troubling, but for my aunt's sake, we cannot stop now. Uh, the gate. I think we're locked in again. <sighs> then Salazar Slytherin is not yet finished with us. Hey, here we go. Take it out, guys. The last note. Oh, okay. That was ominous. I've lost hope. I'm locked in. I heard a scream and saw the tortured faces. The only way forward is with an unforgivable curse. Even if I wanted to cast it, I have no one upon whom to do so. Salazar Slytherin created a malicious challenge indeed. In my last correspondence to my brother, I'd invited him here. Now, if he looks for me alone, I'll have led him to his death. Despite our differences, I wish him no ill. I wish we had parted on better terms. Oh my goodness. Are we going to have to do what I think we're going to have to do? Ominous. A skeleton. And Noctua's last journal entry. She mentions being trapped here. Blocked by an unforgivable curse. This is where she died. This is where we'll die. I shouldn't have listened to either of you. That's her right there. Ominous. I'm truly sorry about your aunt. But I know what to do. It's going to be difficult. So, that's her right there. The only way this 
wicked looking door is going to open. Look at that. Is to cast an unforgivable curse on one of us has to cast it on another one of us. Yeah, I'm starting to think uh, something I already suspected that that was our Slytherin. Yeah, no, he's not the good guy that she was hoping he would turn out to be. No, this is wicked. Like, he's evil. You're evil. Um, Bastion, if, if we have to do what I think we have to do, mate, I think maybe we should do it on him. I mean, he's kind of the winkest link. You said you know what to do. Tortured faces on the door and Crucios etched into the stone. My guess is if we cast the Cruciatus curse, the door will open. That's why Noctua died. She had no one to cast the curse on. Ominous has the most experience with this. He well, should cast it. No, no. You seem to be in Ominous's favor. Will you ask him about this? I'd rather you ask him. I'll ask him. Yeah. Oh, fine, I'll talk to him about it, but it shouldn't be him. Ugh. Don't you know one of these curses? Can't you teach it to me? He does seem a bit cross with you. I'll speak with him. Good. Work your magic, so to speak. Wish we had some liquid luck. All of this could have been avoided. Losing it. Losing it bad, too. Pick it. Well, someone could just fall in. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> ominous. Let's chat. Ominous. I hadn't imagined we'd end up trapped like this. Salazar Slytherin did. He's to blame for many unimaginable things. I overheard you and Sebastian, and I won't do it. The Cruciatus Curse is pure torture, I would know. Sebastian told me a little of what happened when you were young. Sounds as if you had no choice. <sighs> Should have known he would have told you. <sighs> and one always has a choice. I'm as guilty as the worst of my family. Unforgivable curses won't work unless you really mean them. I had to want to cause pain, and for that I shall never forgive myself. That spells the reason I have no family left. You and Sebastian will need to sort out another solution. Okay, I have a if solution. If you cast Crucio, you will regret it forever. Why don't you teach it to me, and then... I'll cast it on one of you. How does that sound? Uh, <clears throat> Sebastian, I have an idea. What do we do now? Ominous is not going to cast the Cruciatus Curse again. Ridiculous. As if dying in here is a better option than casting a damned spell. I agree. <sighs> it's up to us. I can teach you Crucio, or I can cast it on you. Wait, you didn't say you knew how to cast Crucio. Because I'm not sure I do. Ominous knows that, yet he's left us no choice. I don't yearn to follow in Noctua Gaunt's footsteps. I think I can cast it if I have to. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, very well. I don't want to learn the Christian. I want to learn the Christian Curse, but you must cast it on me. Teach me the Christian Curse. <laughs> yeah. Um, I would prefer to cast this on um. Ominous, uh, Sebastian. Uh, because me and you are kind of, you know, we're bros at this point. But if this is the only way it's going to be, well, I want you to teach me the Cruciatus Curse and I'll cast it on you. Yes. Because... Learn, you know, okay, yeah. I want to learn the curse, and I think it's best if I cast it on you. Very well, if that's what you want. Yes. To perform the spell, raise your wand, point it at me, and firmly declare, Crucio, hold on as long as you can. All right. Well, I'm sorry to have to do this to you, my friend, but uh, it seems that we don't really have much of a choice here, so... All right, here we go. And this way, this way, this way. There we go. I hope you're ready. ready? I'm ready. Oh. 
That was wicked. Are you all right? That pain. I would have done anything to make it stop. But I'll survive. Let's keep moving. Good man, Sebastian. We made it. We found Salazar Slytherin's scriptorium. I can't believe we're here. Oh, hello. Revelio. Salazar Slytherin Scriptorium, a secret and well-protected room beneath Hogwarts, where Salazar Slytherin appears to have spent time making various long-term plans with respect to the student population and reflecting on disagreements he had with the other founders. Oh, this is... This is wicked. Guys, we are in the heart of it right now. This is like Salazar Slytherin's like his study, like his private area, his scriptorium. We have here, give me something good. Fringed house scarf. Hey. Okay. God. Uh, well, the defense goes down by four and offense goes up by one. There it does have a trait slot, but not going to be worth replacing it with this. What is this? So, I know a new spell now. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Where is it? Here it is. Striking an enemy cursed with Cru Crucio releases a projectile that curses a nearby enemy. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, uh, well, we've got to do this. And... Um... Mm -hmm. Yep, we've got it. We've got to do it. Got to use the talent. Just to make sure it's up to snuff. Oh, yeah. And it's... Well, we do know this spell. Uh, we could activate this now. I haven't really used that a lot in combat. We'll probably get to that for sure. Um... Oh, there it is. Causes most enemies to wraith in pain as they take damage over time. Also curses the victim. Uncursed enemies take extra. Just in case we may need it. Yeah, you never know. You never know. Okay. What do we have over here? Okay. Slytherin spell book? Sebastian. Ominous. There's a book just here. You found something. You two go ahead. Let me know what's in it. I'll wander around a bit. May I have a look? Yeah, you can hold on a second. Um, I'm gonna have a look first. Salazar Slytherin's personal book of spells and magic written by his own hand, dating back to the 10th century, stored within Slytherin's hidden scriptorium inside Hogwarts. The secrets it contains are intriguing, dark, and potentially insidious. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo! Hmm, I wonder if I was a more noble character, how, uh, go about dealing with... Rebellion! ...around a little bit. Bastion, you just sit tight. Check this out. Oh, wow. Check this out. Get man. Camera's kind of... Oh, is it okay if I just take a drink of this... 200 year old whatever it is I think this might be written by Salazar Sliver I fear we shall never come to an accord I cannot persuade even one of them to listen to reason I had 
dared hope that Godric's thoughts were aligned with my own, that he understood why the calibre of student needed to be exceptional. But he has fallen prey to the ridiculous notion that Muggleborns are somehow as capable as purebloods. He was furious when I impressed my displeasure at his thoughts on the matter, thoughts he had not yet put voice to. I tire of di I tire of the discord and can no longer bear witness to the cor corridors full of inept children masquerading as witches and wizards. It is with heavy heart that I now know I must go from here. I shall place the creature into a deep sleep in its chamber until it can be awakened by one who shares my view. A descendant willing to reverse the damage that the others have so carelessly wrought. One who shall rid the school of those unworthy of Hogwarts that would serve only to stain my legacy. The creature. Rewinkle's tailcoat. Sebastian. What do you think? Looks like a spellbook of some kind. This is incredible. A Hogwarts founder's possession. What an honor. Still can't believe Ominous never told me about his aunt and what she found. What will you do with Slytherin's spellbook? What I do with every book. Read it. Having professors as parents ingrained that habit early on. But I can do that later. For now. I say we explore this room. Um, it's breathtaking. I've been getting an uneasy feeling about this place. You couldn't linger here. Let's find a way out, please. I oh, don't want up. to leave, but I owe you. Both of you. Without both of you, we'd never have made it this far. We were lucky. We could have died. We must swear never to do this again. You are such a little... <sighs> I'm assuming once you learn those spells, you teach them to me, right? Like, is that how this is going to work? I don't Rebellion. think there's anything else in here to see. I see a way out. Yes, Test yes. Best news I've heard all day. Round. One last look. Is that Salazar Slytherin right there? Look at that. Don't I have a... Um... What was it? I thought it was like a, I don't know, a thingamajiggy I could use. Like a looking glass or something. I don't know, maybe. Who was that? Was that his chick? The wicked place, man. Man, I'm just taking it all in. Oh, the music. Oh, it's just so fitting. Oh my god. Slytherin Dungeon. This is the way out? Oh. Okay. Ominous, oh, how are you getting around, by the way? Oh, are you guys coming? What about Honest. those two? Oh. About your aunt. Please, Sebastian. I meant what I said before. We swear, right now, never to engage in anything to do with dark magic again. Understood. I'm truly sorry about your aunt, Ominous. I suppose oh, after yeah. all this, I am sure. grateful to know what happened to her. Thank you. <laughs> uh, well, I guess I'll see you guys. Check this out. Scriptorium, so I could go back there whenever I want. What's wrong with my hair? Weird. Uh, thank you, Ominous. You were very useful. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, you were very useful. Um, <clears throat> now I know one of the three powerful curses. Um, before I forget and do anything else... What do we have here? So Sebastian took the spell book. And he's gonna read those spells. He told Ominous that he wasn't going to... Um... 
do anything anymore with dark magic. But I think we both know that's not going to be true. So, um, oh, you know what? Let me pull that back up. We're going to fast travel. We need to go to the room of requirement and desperately make some potions before I end this episode. Okay. Oh, hey there, Deke. How you doing? All right. Yes, let's go over here. Let's get some dung. Just in case we need it. And let's brew some potions. Wigan wheel, please. A butt ton. As many as I can carry. Alright. That, I have to say, that was a pretty awesome quest, though. It was a lot of fun. There weren't any enemies, but there were some tricky puzzles. And... My lack of Wigan Wield actually caused me to kind of die. Oh, hello. Flex. What's happening? Pick up. Oh, I see. Okay. Whatever. Uh, let's add some of this dung. What do we want to add it to? Yeah, probably Mallow Sweet. Fertilize. Flux Weed. Not Grass, I don't think we have a lot of. And then... I don't even know what that was. Sure, why not? <clears throat> okay. Wigan Will. Yes, we are not going to be underprepared again. Okay, that's only seven, so let's do a buttload more. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Man, everything in that room, the music... I mean, the ambiance, the atmosphere, it was just, like, perfect. Like, seriously, it was awesome. And I'm assuming that the other curses, Sebastian's going to learn from that book, and then he can teach us. We'll see. After this, we're going to go meet up with uh, Natty, the girl from Wagadoo. And see what it is that she wants. He's never as fun to hang out with as Sebastian. Um, plus, I haven't forgotten that she beat me in that first challenge. And so, yeah. Still kind of salty about that. Okay, I think I can only have 25. So just four more. Two, three, and four. I guess I could get some of these that, like, have two or three cooking pots on them or something like that. Hmm. Okay. Now we're all set up with Wigan Wield again. We got those stuff brewing over there. We've got a decent amount of these other potions, kind of, sort of. Not a lot of ingredients. Well, Thunder Brew. I take that back. Reduces the drinker's spell cooldowns. We're out of this. Venomous Tentacula. We actually need to, uh... Re... Do I not... I guess I have to buy the thingamajiggies. What are they called? Um, the stuff to brew those things. Let's make some thunder brew. I mean, the venomous ones, not to brew them, but to plant them. You know what I mean? 
I've got a lot for Thunder Brew. I could make a butt ton of these. Let's go for it. Now, these other ones... Defense... Spell damage... Really, we could stock up on quite a few of these. I mean, I've got a good number of ingredients. So... Yeah, it just takes a minute. Stuff is going. Fertilizer, fertilizer, fertilizer. I guess we could enhance this other stuff while we're at it. Sure, why not? Uh, got that one with fertilizer. That one has fertilizer too, I think. That fertilizer to this. Mallow sweet. Chopping cabbage. Now everything has fertilizer. So we have too much mandrakes, so I need to use up those. We can only have 12. Um, yeah, I'm out of these, though. I don't know how to make the invisibility post. What? Yes, I do. Collect this stuff. It's almost done. That way I'm all stocked up and ready to go. Yeah, let's do it. Oops. And... Get those done. Collect. 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 Come on. Now... We do have this. Spell cooldowns. Sure, while we're here, let's make some. I can make, like... Do four. Uh, Doug Bug Tongue. We won't get rid of the last one that we've got. We all set. So those are brewing, and we'll make a few of the other ones just to make sure that we're all stocked up and ready to go. Ew. Why is this one taking forever? Okay. And... I don't know. Well, how many do we have? We're gonna get more of the... I guess we could do... We got a lot of Maxima and Aduras. We hardly ever use them. Spell damage. Sure. I just need to remember to use them more. Just forget. Yeah. We'll collect these last ones. And then we'll be all set. Just these last three. Then we'll be good to go. Come on. Don't make me wait. Oh, I think we have an animal. Didn't we enslave a new animal? Because it's in my inventory, isn't it? Or did I already lay it out? Right? Oh, you know what? I think, yeah, it's right here. Neasel. I think I'm not able to lay it out because I have to sell more beasts first. So I'm putting the smaller ones in this area. Um. Yeah, I can't add this one right now. Because I've reached the limit. So I have to sell certain beasts. And I've got a different kind of these. This cat would really go better in this area. Oh, did I? Oh, crap. I think I might have did a little decorating in there. You should be proud of all the potions you brew. Yeah, thanks, Deke. Like, I really need your approval. <laughs> okay, and here, I believe, we do have an open slot. This is really more so for, like, you 
know, like larger creatures. You know, these horse kind of creatures, but I guess it's fine. Like, just for now. How big is this thing? That's not too small. Well, since I'm here, I can go ahead and collect their ingredients. I need this and this, right? Let's see what we get out of all these things. There you go, Neasel. I, I think I'd prefer to put the Neasel in the other area. But what I have to do first is actually rescue other beasts and then sell them. So, I need to do that. Neasel fur. Okay, you're the hypocrite that I ride. There you go. Your name is Caligo, but I call you Black Chicken. Go, stuff your fat face. All right, hippogriff feather. You can get another hippogriff feather. There you go. Okay. Let's take some of these. Uh, it looks like dog food to me. And there's this undead one. I don't know what I get from you. There you go. Come on. Don't be shy. Okay. This stroll hair. We'll go ahead and go into the other place and collect from them too, the smaller creatures. While I'm here, you know, I mean after all, that is why I enslave them. Yeah, I don't think, I've added some trees, and uh, I had a little house there. I don't remember if I showed that off or not. Puff skin. There you go. Stuff your fat face. I need to get better boxes and stuff. Collect from Puff Skin. And then I set out this toy thing. It doesn't really do much. It just allows me to pop open a ball or something. It pops out. And I forget, do they play with it? I think one of them comes and plays with it. I've made a little pumpkin patch here. Like, if I knock it over to one of them, I think they play with it. There you go. Here this thing comes. There you go. Play with that. Okay. Moon calf. There you go. Feed this one. Yeah, I don't think I added anything else. I removed the large tree in the middle. I added some of these trees. Um, hey, get up, get over here. Where'd it go? There it is. And then I added this house. You can't go inside the house, though. Cabanal. All right. And collected from these two. There's a third one hiding somewhere around here. I also made like like a little area over here. Like little benches. Here's this thing. Like a little bench and some more pumpkins. What are you called again? A Niffler. Yeah, there you go. Okay, Niffler Fur. Got it going. I may be able to upgrade some of my stuff now. So it's not too bad. I don't I didn't decorate at all in the other area though. I think I can use this bad boy here. Let's see what we got. Got a few things equipped that are okay. You upgrade. I can upgrade the offense of this. Let's do it. And then... Increase damage with Incendio. Can't upgrade. Uh, 
Uh, uh, yeah, I'm still missing a lot of key ingredients. Code warts. Guess I gotta collect some frogs. So I need to go out and save some creatures and stuff. And the more I save and give to the shop, no one I, I don't have here. anything for this at the moment. Um, the more I go out and give to the shop, the creature shop, the more slots will unlock for me to store these creatures. Well, I'm gonna call the episode there. When we come back, I... I don't know. I guess I could... I guess I'll help Natty do this thing, Imogen. Sounds like fun. Alright guys, as always, thanks so much for watching. If you like the video, please hit the like button and maybe subscribe. Unless you're a loser. And as always, guys, I hope you have a great freaking day.